And we're on the air in three, two, one. Speedy TV, live from the National Veterans Wheelchair Games, a service of Paralyzed Veterans of America. Hello and welcome to coverage of the 33rd National Veterans Wheelchair Games here in this year's host city of Tampa, Florida. I'm Tim Pogo for Speedy TV, a presentation of Paralyzed Veterans of America. We've got an enormous amount to bring you this week. First and foremost, the sports coverage. We'll give you highlights of the events, we'll meet the athletes, and we'll get their story too. As well, we'll interact with some of the many organizers and sponsors that make this whole crazy week run very smoothly. But up first, we'll go to the game's kickoff event where the city of Tampa welcomes these amazing athletes. With the busiest man in Tampa Bay this week, President of the Paralyzed Veterans of America, Bill Lawson. How are you, Bill? Hey. Doing well, man. Doing well. Thank you. Good to see you again. Yeah. Hey, here we are. Another game's upon us. Uh, talk about what people can get, can expect to see this week and, and Tampa as a host city. Oh, let me tell you something now. We, this is the kickoff uh, of the games that we're seeing here today, and we got a, a nice basketball game going on back here, but one of the interesting things about it is we took took some able body people and put them in wheelchairs to play some of the pros in basketball and then unfortunately those able body guys are getting killed but you know it's a good lesson on what we go through on a daily basis but i'll tell you what this is the 33rd year that we've had the, the national veterans wheelchair games it's a big event 600 plus athletes will be competing this year with 17 medal events um, a beautiful city that we're hosting in in tampa we've been well received by the citizens and by the mayor's office and everything, and uh, well, I tell you what, it, it just doesn't get any better than this, and um, gosh, these veterans are all so excited about coming out here and competing, and uh, man, anybody that sees this thing, if you live in this area, uh, come on out and be a fan in the stands, and, and let's cheer all these athletes on. We always are thanking the VA, we're always thanking PVA, and we're always thanking the sponsors for all their support because the games wouldn't be possible without them. But you know what? If it wasn't for the service and the sacrifice of the men and women that served our country and gave the ultimate in their bodies, we wouldn't have to have these games. So we need to thank our athletes and our veterans because without them, these games wouldn't be possible. Absolutely. They seem ready to go. Everyone seems amped up. The city's ready. I mean, there's there's banners and signs all around this beautiful downtown harbor area. It's 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 on. Huh? It is on, and I've actually seen some advertisements on the television, uh, news channels and things, and encouraging people to come out and watch the games. And uh, wow, it's just going to be an exciting week, uh, a full week to tell you the truth. And you know, I mean, you got 600 smiling faces running around Tampa this weekend downtown here. Uh, people will will see it and realize that. You know, life's not over when you have it when you have an injury. Athletes represent every corner of the country, plus overseas as well. Well, actually, we do have some some uh, some of the Brits here. They've been a longtime team of coming here year after year for quite a few years. Uh, we have uh, contention from Puerto Rico. Uh, I even met a, uh, one of the athletes from Hawaii. So yeah, people are traveling a long distance to come to these games. It means that much to them. You mentioned 17 medal events, and I know uh, on trial this year as uh, water skiing and tennis. So that's be very exciting to see. And, and how does an event actually end up then as an official event down the road? Well, what they do is we introduce it as an exhibition event here at the games, and we see what the interest is and the participation. And then, based on all that, then uh, we we evaluate it, and, and later on it may become one of the medal events. You know, just recently, well, just a few years ago, we added trap shooting which uh, wasn't a medal event for a long time, and we, we brought it in as, a, um, as an exhibition sport. And, I mean, athletes loved it, so we decided, you know what, we need to add that. So if the tennis and the uh, water skiing work out and there's a lot of participation, uh, I'm sure we'll probably see them in, in later games. Okay. So we're here. It's one week, of course, in Tampa, but, I mean, there's the whole rest of the You guys are hard at work getting this stuff ready to go. Yeah, it, it takes more than a year to prepare a location for these uh, wheelchair games. You know, next year the games are in Philadelphia, and there's already local or organizing committees from the VA in Philadelphia that are here so that they can observe and get a grasp on what, what's going to be expected of them. And they'll go back and they'll spend the entire year in preparation. 
Let's make sure some of the vets out there that maybe haven't gotten involved with the PVA yet or the games. I mean, yes, there's, of course, the games that get involved every year, but you guys are hard at work doing many things and many aspects of vets' lives. Well, we, we, uh, we have many programs that uh, Paralyzed Veterans of America uh, provides to our membership. Uh, we have 34 chapters across the country. They have their members there. Um, they, they put on various events. A lot of them put on a lot of sporting events. You have bass fishing, trap shooting, hand cycling. Uh, now I hear, understand that an, uh, one that's coming up now is bocce ball. Uh, so the introduction into sports starts at the chapter level. Anybody that suffered a spinal cord injury or disease of the, of the spinal cord and you're a veteran, um, you need to locate your, the nearest chapter to you. Go to pva.org. You can find the chapter nearest you. Join into PVA and join all the, all the uh, excitement about the chapter. But besides the sporting things, we also, you know, people, even able-bodied people, how, how many people use the curb cuts from the sidewalk to the street? Just think about that. How many ladies pushing baby cart, you know, what? A suitcase or anything. Yeah, yeah. How, how did that come about? You know, that came about because of the advocacy of the Paralyzed Veterans of America. We pushed for that. We pushed for the passage of the Americans with Disabilities Act, which, by the way, is the largest anti-discrimination act ever passed legislation. And we were a driving force in that. We also have things like the Air Carriers Access Act, which ensures that people with disabilities can fly with dignity. And, and the list goes on and on. We have our Veterans Benefits Department who make sure that the veterans receive all the benefits that they're entitled to because of their service. So, you know, we have a lot, lot going on. So if you're a disabled vet, call your local chapter, right? Get involved, find out what's available to you, and, uh, and hopefully see them next year at the, uh, in Philly Games. Right? Absolutely. We'd like to have these, see these games grow. You know, hopefully, the, I think the registration to these games was 617 It'll probably drop a little bit because, unfortunately, there will be people that got sick at the last minute. Um, we would really like to, to break the record, which I think is about around 600. So if you're out there and you think you might want to participate, come on in to Philadelphia next year and let's raise that number up. I'd like to see seven, 750 people. Absolutely. Look forward to that next year in Philly. And, uh, again, pva.org for, for the veterans, for anybody that wants to help out, get involved. Absolutely. We need volunteers, too. You know, we can't do this without the volunteers and supporters. But, but you know, it's all about the athletes here. So, Bill, you got a lot to do this week. So thanks for taking a few to hang with us, and uh, it's going to be a good time. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I want to welcome the veteran athletes. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your service to our country, and welcome the wheelchair games in Tampa. As a VA executive, I spent a lot of time back in Washington working on programs that are intended to serve the needs of our nation's veterans. So it's really wonderful to get out here, out of the office, into what we call the field, and actually see how these programs are helping veterans not just recover from illness and injury, but thrive, and in this case, compete. Speedy TV, live from the National Veterans Wheelchair Games, a service of Paralyzed Veterans of America. All right, we're at the Tampa Bay Times Forum, home of the 2004 Stanley Cup champion Tampa Bay Lightning, because, well, there's only one more matter of business to attend to before the games can really get going, and that is the opening ceremonies, and those are happening right now inside. Hanging with Team Pennsylvania and some boys from Philadelphia, the host city for next year. What's going on, guys? Oh, just getting ready to get the thing started here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're down in the bowels of the arena here, so uh, next to the Zambonis for the for the hockey games, and uh, you've been here for a few years now. So tell us about what you love about the games, what keeps bringing you back. Well, the competition. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's like a big family here. We're all vets. You know, we're all pretty much in the same boat, and uh, it's it's like a big family reunion every year. You know, you see guys you haven't seen for a whole year, and it's just a lot of fun. Another member, and I think probably team captain and M MVP, right, of Team uh, Pennsylvania is Doris. How are you? I'm doing very well, and I'm so happy to always be participating in these because this, this is our way of being a bridge to the walking world and being with all these wonderful men. I've been so blessed, and I thank you because World War II 
there aren't many of us left, and I'm still participating at 89, and I love doing it. Wow. I love it. Fantastic. Uh, hey, everybody, look. It's Team Florida. What's going on, everybody? What's going on, Tampa? Tampa, what's going on? You guys ready to go or what? Oh, yeah, ready to win some goals. Yeah, <laughs> take, take all the gold home. We ain't going to leave none, no gold for nobody else. This is the whole city. It, I think every year there's a pretty strong contingent from Florida, isn't there? But now it's in your backyard. What's that like? Oh, uh, man, it's awesome. It's, it's, it's been a long time coming. We've been working on it for two years uh, with the chapter on the chapter side. So it's finally here, and it's good to be for, for to have all the athletes come down here on our home turf so we can show them a good time. Hey, everybody, I found Team Minnesota here at the opening ceremonies. What's going on, Minnesota? Yeah. Time, man. Tell us about the team. How many guys you got, got here this year? We have 17 this year, so on an average, it's around 11 to 13. But we uh, we really pushed hard, and we've got four novices this year, so very that's very exciting for us to be able to bring that many novices. Absolutely, and hey, let's face it, Tampa's not around the corner from you guys. <laughs> no, that's true. So, but uh, you know, we're having a great time here. The weather's been great. You know, we're from Minnesota, so <laughs> so it, it's been an enjoyable. So so many, you know so much two days so far so but we're not expecting anything bad for, for the rest of the week Excellent. except lots of fun sure so uh, what do you got to do throughout the year to kind of recruit new guys and, and and get new guys like jim well as a sports director that's part of my uh joy of doing the job that i have is to be able to talk to these guys as i are introduced to them and uh actually my coaches are pt they're when they're when they're not doing coaching they're they work for the va so they give every once in a while they'll give me a heads up and you know then I then I key on somebody and then I talk to them and explain to them what's going on. I use pictures. Uh, we have DVDs of the of past uh, games and uh, it just a gentle arm twisting. So, so, so Jim, uh, had, you, had you heard about the games prior to this? And what got you here for the first time finally? Um, this is my first. The, the first time I've been involved, um, I just had my injury in 2012, so um, I didn't know anything about it until um, Todd brought it up to me. Oh, wait, wait, in the, it, back in the winter, I forget when, but um, at that point in time, I said, yeah, I'd be interested in doing something like that. So um, it's been a long year of rehabilitation, but we're, we're back on track now. This is, um, I'm actually the first time here, but I've uh, been to the uh, wheelchair games out in Aspen, Colorado. Okay. So your second game is competing? Yes sir. yes, sir. So it's great. So they trained us well and swimming and we're ready to go at it. Uh, Sean, your first games. First Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready to do it. Ready to take home some golds. Yeah, yeah more than one. <laughs> Got to do it. Got to represent, especially since we're representing next, next year. Uh, you know, we got to come correct this year. Yep. So, uh, how'd you get involved this year? Uh, did you, did you hear about the game and said, oh, dude, I'm in? Well, you know, I'm um, associated with the VA in, in Philadelphia, and, you know, they have great programs there. And they told me about, you know, the 33rd wheelchair veteran games. I said, well, I got to go. I got to go. So, uh, Julia, my, my team lead, hooked it up, and I'm here. Games? Yes, sir. Novice. How are the uh, how are the the old timers treating you then as the rookie in the team? Hey, uh, since I'm the new booty of the, uh, to the team, uh, I'm taking uh, everything as much as I can, um, soaking it up and um, you know learning. The camaraderie is great. Uh, the experience, man, I never forget this. You know, the the ceremony itself was tremendous. Um, hopefully, I get better in time and um, take this along with my kids and uh, hopefully I show everybody a good time to make sure everybody get a piece of this. That way, everybody can grow and. Um, you know, just get better in time. You know, I appreciate every time, every little bit I have here. So I wish to, uh, wish everybody the best and um, hope to come in years and years to come. And which events will you be in? Basketball, softball, and shot put. Yep. That's a pretty good clip for your first time. You're jumping right in. You know, you know, three goals is good to start off. Yeah, why you dip know. your toe in? Yeah. <laughs> Just cannonball right in. Yeah, there we go. But it's I, I plan to have a lot of fun, you know, above everything else, I'm going to have a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm uh, Sydney Merced. Uh, I'll be swimming or all uh, styles, and I'll be doing javelin. I'm actually going to be, do, be doing five events. I'll be uh, hand cycling, uh, air guns, and uh, discus, 
and uh, <laughs> caught me in a moment right now. <laughs> You'll be busy this week, to say the least. Yeah, to say the least, yes. Oh, I'm in basketball, weightlifting, shot put, and uh, air gun. Uh, hand cycling and uh, softball. I'm Cliff McDowell. I play basketball, and I am weightlifting. Yeah. I'm doing uh, ramp bowling, uh, discus, and motorized rally. Yeah. But you? I've got two swimming events. I've got two field events. Uh, I also have softball. Uh, and then uh, I have bocce, which is a new metal sport this year. So as a quadriplegic, we're always looking for new sports that come up, and bocce is one of them, so I thought I'd give that a try. I'm playing pool and doing ping pong and weightlifting. Kevin talked me into weightlifting. In <laughs> uh, which event can we find you in this week? I am going to be in the swimming 25-meter. I've been in the slalom, the motorized rally, and ramp bowling. I've been very, very lucky. And blessed. We're lucky to have you. And I thank you for interviewing me. I appreciate it. We're going to check you out at the events, all right? And I love it. All right. I love it. Here. Uh, which branch of the service are you guys in? I'm, I'm from the Marine Corps. I'm retired National Guard. Tell them where you started out, though. Well, Marine Corps started out in the Marine Corps, of course. <laughs> which branch of the service are you in? Army. Who? Uh, I was U.S. Army, and... We have a great crew down there in uh, Miami, the Miami Veterans VA, and we just wanted to come and win some medals. Uh, so which branch were you in in World War II? I was in Naval Intelligence. And I, I learned so very, very much. I was very, very lucky. I went joint operations, which meant, as a court stenographer, I took dictation from the Army, the Navy, the Marines, and it was the Naval Air Force at that time, and I, I've never been sorry that I was a veteran and I met my husband there. Very nice. Only I let him think that I was his best decision, but he was my best decision. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I think it goes both ways. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and when did you start competing in the games? I was in Puerto Rico and my family said, I don't think you should do that. Who is going to take care of you if something should happen? The best thing I ever did was start these games. I look forward to them every year. My son usually takes me to these. And when you meet people like all of these wonderful men, and meeting you, and I, I really appreciate doing this. Thank you so much for interviewing me. opening ceremonies ended. That'll do it for our opening day of coverage for the 33rd National Veterans Wheelchair Games here in Tampa for Speedy TV. And now that the games are declared officially open, we've got tons of action to bring you from all the events over the next handful of days. We'll begin that tomorrow, so check back with us. I'm Tim Pogo for Speedy TV. See ya.